All right, then let's get started. So I've been playing a little bit off camera, well, a fair bit, I suppose. And uh, the spear currently looks like this. I'm currently not shooting any more dollar sales because, sort of, well, the frame just needs more work, and the frame is getting work done relatively slowly. That's kind of the reason there. And then currently, the bottleneck is actually. Well, it's the nanotubes right now, but it kind of fluctuates between the processors and the nanotubes. Although now, I suppose the silicon problems have been sorted out, so that's no longer going to be an issue for the time being. Did that this morning. So what we're going to do actually right away is... Okay, so we took those. We do have one of these. That's good. Got four of those here, I suppose. <coughs> Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go and drop... Actually, no, 5 is probably good enough. So, we are immediately heading out into another system. I've already been there, I've set up some things already, but there's still a little bit of work that needs to be done before I can start. Ah, Delta... Iskium. Right, so it's warp time. Take a little bit of time, but at least we got a decent bit of uh, energy. I mean, it's enough to at least get in here. Take a little bit of time. Now it's lowering down. The it's I believe. No, it's let's just exit the warp so we can figure out which one it is. We've been in. It's the number. Well, it is actually number two, so that's relatively far away. Well, let's speed up a little bit so we can get there. Not too much hassle. I mean, I suppose I could have uh, flew, flown a little bit closer. I didn't want to risk it, so here we are. So, the reason why I. Well, I mean, I just went here because uh, there was the closest system basically and if we have a look at the materials in here there's iron ore, copper ore, silicon, actually quite a bit of everything titanium, stone, coal, then fire ice and fractal silicon and then some water as well and hydrogen and deuterium so it's not too bad yeah we're gonna have to speed up a little bit Maximum overdrive. Well, as close as we can, considering how much uh, energy we currently have. Recharge speed is currently still a bit low now. The suit here, so we'll need to upgrade that at some point. In terms of technology, we've already gone all the way to. Well, we can now create uh, dark matter. Oh, hold on. Is it dark matter or. Or anti-matter. Any, anyway, we can create that stuff. Basically storing photons down. It gives some uh, hydrogen as well, but it's mostly meant to be hydrogen used as... For making the antimatter. Oh, yeah, it is antimatter. For making the fuel rods, and then you can use the fuel rods for a lot of things. Anyway, oh, we are actually right here. Time to crash into the planet. There we are. So, since this is basically... Well, the actual tilt on this planet is so minuscule, these uh, solar panels over here will be producing power around the clock or throughout the year, assuming that the planet is not in the way, which it might be every now and then. Okay, so we are getting some fire eyes over here. Well, we've been mining for a while, and we have 10,000 in here, but I just realized something that... I'd perhaps rather not do it there, or rather not to export fire ice itself, but rather just export the hydrogen, not hydrogen, um, graphene that you get from it. And to make the graphene, I believe we actually, ooh, um, I take the stuff for making one. Chemical plant, we don't have steel. Um. I don't suppose we can make steel either. 
probably just don't have. Ooh. Oh, is it? Hold on a minute, steel. I cannot make it replicate it. Well, we got some metal turrets on us, so we can make, get some steel, get the chemical plant, and we can start turning that stuff into. Actually, get rid of the connection there. Even get rid of that one. Can I? Hmm, it's gonna be a bit trickier than I thought it would be at the start of the stream here, but that's all right. There you would put you here, and then okay, so you are local supply. Also, get the belt from there. Also, I should probably drop in the ships in here. So we've got five ships. This will be made so that this side provides the crappine and actually we'll also be providing the um crystals probably right so let's just get a one of these so we can empty that place right and then this fire eyes um did we we didn't actually set up the military for the steel yet so let's go and do that real quick shall we on this planet we have um, pretty much everything that there is in this system. Some of the uh, numbers are a bit low, like the coal and copper, but it's manageable. Right, uh, we got the poultry over there. Like it's having some problems every now and then. Power, but just how it's going to have to be. Oh, too close, okay. Well, that shouldn't be too close. Then you start making steel. Ah, it's three to one. Okay, and how much can you make? Six, okay. If we were to upgrade that a bit higher level, we both work all time, more or less. Right, um, was that enough for the chemical plant? No, we need eight, okay. That should be enough. Here it is. Then actually, we need to figure out where do we have the titanium mines here? No fire eyes there, there's titanium vein here, but are we mining any titanium is my next question. Doesn't look like we are. Yeah, well, we should probably set up a mine or two over here, the titanium, because I have a plan. Since using the fire eyes for making, uh, um, can we just use these? Can also set up a military or two over here. That, and then grab a belt from there. these here and then make this to make titanium copy it over and then we just need to drag the titanium up there we'll get there first get the remaining afterwards once I get a little bit closer I want to get these actually unloading already go So what I'm going to do is uh, use the hydrogen from the fire eyes and the titanium to make hydrogen fuel rods and use the fuel rods to make more electricity. I'm going to get rid of that one. So you are getting a lot of fire eyes, so you've got another layer over there as well. Right, uh, did we, we did get the chemical plant now. Indeed we did. First we could Place you somewhere around there. And some electricity over here. Then you will start making that one. Uh, probably doesn't need to be too quick. Although, how quickly does it go through? 
Ah, it does need to. Okay, so we'll just increase the speed there a little bit, and then we'll need to get your hydrogen down here, I reckon, so that we can store it a little bit. So that's going to be the hydrogen. Is it actually okay? So graphene is the one that is being produced more. That is good to know. Now, can we actually make these connections over here are a bit awkward. Got so close to the all of so it might actually require us to connecting. I mean, that would be the easier connection, but I uh, suppose we can just take a belt from here. Okay, that's not the best place to do it. Oh, come on. Okay, well, well, we can go around this way. It looks hideous. But it should allow us to start unloading some of the graphene down here. And then you'll take uh, graphene as a remote supply and local supply, yes. And then what we need to do is we need to actually get some of the things for the cattle. Not entirely sure if there's an easier way to do this. The problem is. Alright, oh, okay, we've got a few over there. Question is, are these actually leaving yet? No, it doesn't look like it. They have recharged at least. Right, and the hydrogen from here, um, slowly piling up, not very quickly though. Well, let's just take them. Oh, right, no, we wanted to make the. We have an assembly machine. Here we do. Guess we can put it right about here. Bit of power first. And we're going to bring in the hydrogen from there. Connect over that way and we'll take the titanium from here. We will start making uh, hydrogen fuel rods. Make you unload them on a belt here. And then we can just set up the thermal power station in here. Uh, so we we'll start right there for the time being. We might switch these around eventually, but this should allow us to get at least a little bit more power out here. The rate is only 80%, okay. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. Uh, there is still enough power to work around here. Now, have we sent out any ships yet? No. Oh, because we don't have enough graphene yet. I suppose it doesn't work all that quickly. Um, actually, if we go get some more steel, we can make another one of those. To speed up the process a little bit. Take the steel, or iron rather, from there as well. Now, can we make another chemical plant? Yes, we can. We could actually make multiple ones, but we'll start with one. Okay, so there's plenty of fuel rods here. I'm just going to set up a second one down here. I hope it's... ...are enough for... Yes, we can connect it there. Good. That's going to be even more power available. But I'm pretty sure that the solar panel power will be used first. At least I hope so. Right, the question is... Do we want to place these... Chemical plants? I suppose that is an option. Right, so we'll make you make that again. Hmm. Can we fell through there? Yes, we can. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that one. Actually, what we could probably do is 
connect there, and then from here somewhere connected that one. That should work. You'll start unloading that. Start unloading that as well, and then on this side we're going to need another belt. Going through here, you know what? You know, we'll go through here, we'll do a bit of a transfer over there, just so that it doesn't move that portion. Not that it really matters, but... Well, like, it will just adjust it a little bit and shouldn't affect too much. But, now we do need to get this belt here. And instead of that one... Get rid of it, uh, we're going to add in Mark III sorter. There, and then we can start utilizing these. Get the fire eyes in a little bit faster, and that's going to allow us to increase the production, so... Oh, right, uh, how far... Hmm. I don't think, yeah, no, none of the ships have left. How we increase the capacity of each? But, no, it is still 200. Wonder. A reason why they're not going in or out. Also, what I do find a bit odd is it doesn't list how many of those. Can we see them here? No. Nope. Like, how many of those, um, warped thingy, or warp thingies, are in there? Just... Oh, that didn't mean to make four. Oh, well. Those are places somewhere around here. Be less in the way of things. Yeah, I can start crafting more of those uh, warp drives. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if they'll be using them or not. Like, it should start sending stuff out already. Is this supply, but... Hmm. What range is max? Now, something's wrong here, but I don't know what it is. Well, at least you'll start producing these. We can drop in the entire stack there. Well, you don't take the entire stack. Never mind. I mean, that should still be quite a bit of uh, warp drives. Pretty sure that I did change the crafting to be demand on the other end, but mm, hmm. All oh, right, we don't actually have an output here. That might help. It would be really useful if it. Which uh, let you know how many warp tribes you actually have in here. Unless I'm blind, but like I don't see anywhere where it's saying that I have this many warp tribes waiting in here. The logistics vessels aren't doing anything either. The. There's only three light years away. These are not the logistics stuff moving back and forth there. Oh, okay, so now it's fully stacked. Got a little bit more of those there. For some reason, they are not doing what they're supposed to do. Well, that's interesting. Because I'm pretty sure that we are not, well, actually. 
Oh. Maybe we are. Okay, well, first things first. Uh, before I fly back, I want to make sure that we are also uh, setting up the... Not the silicon, but the fractal silicon vein. I think that up there. So we should have... Yes, we have a storage here that is full. Do we have... Uh, we should have enough metal to get back there. At least I hope so. Actually, can we get... We'll get a few faster ones here. And then... Basically all the way to the North Pole. We're getting some nice amount of soul piles here. So we're going to do some terraforming at the main planet. Getting over there. Now I suppose the big question is though, which point are we going to put these into the... Or like, which input are we going to use on the... Logistics hub. And there's technically that one available. I'll use like I mean, on the other hand, this is going to be a problem then. Unless, well, not actually. But I can find a way. Right, so it's the... Yes, the... Um, Oh, right, I was supposed to make these into crystals. Can I break that quickly? Then, yeah, good. Okay, so to make those into crystals, it takes assembly machines. Now, to be fair, these are not necessarily more effective in turning into silicon, but it does mean that we don't need to use silicon back at home as much. Right, um... Uh, wait a minute, oh. Oh yeah, that one. Good. Was it was indeed there. Let's get some more uh, sorters. Now, in all fairness, these probably take a fair bit of electricity. And they're still not sending anything. Which is a bit odd. Okay, um... This is panel. There's a little bit of iron here. Right, this is chose this planet. Oh, it's not a cluster. Hmm. Cathode system would actually produce a lot of power right now. Well, of course, we do have the Dyson sphere fairly well. I mean, or fairly well set up. It's, of course, not entirely completed yet. Or not even mostly completed, in all fairness. But at least producing enough power for our needs there. Right, so we are still getting some hydrogen there, which is still turned in heat, I suppose. Don't really have that much demand for it. Right, then, um, just in case, I'm going to get another storage here, just to make sure that this can keep on working for a while. Oh, wow, it does have a lot of uh, space walkers there. Just so that we can use all of these for that particular production. Not that I really need it right now. Okay, so... Logistics vessels, hold on, is there... A tutorial message for that? 